Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a Lively Legs Rusty Pheasant Tail Prince. The hook I have in device is the Lively Legs Lip Splitter. This is the 475 size 12. It is one extra strong and three extra long. The bead that I have on there is a Lively Legs tungsten bead 3 millimeter for size 1214 this is metallic coffee really nice color in these I'm going to use a rusty thread and this is an 8 op thread I'm gonna start the thread behind the eye I'm gonna put a base of thread down here I'm actually going to come all the way to the back I'm going to put the legs on second I'm going to take that thread back to where it would hang if I hadn't bent the barb down and now I'm going to put a rib on there and this is actually a metallic coffee copper wire I don't think you could get this at the fly shop. I dumpster dive this this one off a clock or something like that. I'm going to make that uh make that tag all the way. I'm gonna stick it in the bead itself. And I'm gonna bring my thread back up to the bead. And by leaving that tag in that long, I'm going to keep it, keep a nice level body, no, uh, no big lumps. Now for the legs, I'm using Lively Legs, size 12, 14. This, these are burnt orange legs. These are really nice color. They have speckles on in them. And I'm going to take the leg and this right angle one is the front and I'm gonna trim that just a little bit I'm gonna trim it just inside that uh, just inside the edge of the front leg when I tie it on I'm going to hold it on the side and then when I wrap it it's gonna end up right on top Bring it between the first and second pair. Whoop. I had to adjust that a little bit. I pulled it too hard. Let me get that. There we go. And I'll bring it right up to the second pair and then go between the second and third. That one's rolling a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim off that third set of legs because I don't need it. Now if you want your legs to point down, what you want to do is give it a little bit of a figure eight. Just give it like one, or one figure eight. I'm going to bring my thread up to the front legs I'm going to do the same there if that one wants to keep rolling on me there we go we'll just manhandle that sucker there we go There we go. Now we got them pointing down. Let me go ahead and give this one one more figure eight. That, that's got them pointing down. And I'm going to bring my thread back to start the tail and abdomen. And for the tail and abdomen, I'm going to use a an orange dyed dyed orange pheasant tail. 
and I want that tail to be about half the distance of the body. We're going to tie that in. Just give that about three wraps, fold it back, put a couple wraps on, on the top there, and bring your thread all the way up to the legs again. And keep that thread right behind that second set of legs. Now I'm going to take my hackle pliers and bring that. I'm going to put a wrap in it so it doesn't split on me. And then wind that forward. Once you get a couple winds in there, it's okay if it opens up. Meaning you don't need to keep it a tight a tight rope all the way up. And I'm going, I got a lot here, so I'm gonna tie it in in front of that second set of legs. And we're gonna tie that off. And we'll go ahead and trim this. Now where I'm going to take my rib and I'm going to counter wrap that, being the opposite direction we wrapped. And I'm going to bring that up between the second, between the legs. I give that five or six wraps. Then you can go ahead and helicopter that off easily. Come on. There we go. Now I'm going to bring my thread back just in back of the back legs. And I'm going to use a rusty Antron color for the thorax. One of the reasons I'm making a rusty one is here in Pennsylvania there's a lot of streams that are recovering or have recovered that were affected by acid mine drainage. Probably in West Virginia too, in any coal country area. And it, la it leaves a, a rusty orange on the bottom that's hard minerals. And I've seen things like crayfish that were rusty colored because of it. And I'm sure that nymphs will get that on them too. I'm going to put just a little bit more dubbing on there. But the good news is eventually the water washes all of that out of the mine. And then what you get is ice cold water coming in from the mine. No real hard chemical or real hard minerals. Could kind of give it a little bit of a figure eight around those legs. Build it up around the middle one. And I'm going to need to just a little another, another little pinch there. And when you're doing this, you're, you're mostly watching the bottom of your fly because your, the top of your fly is going to be hidden just a little bit with your goose biots. Let me tighten that just a speck more. Now I have the thread at the front. I'm going to take a pair of white goose biots. Just fold these like so, and you can get them off easily. And we're going to tie these in, and they, they'll look like an X.
and I'm taking the second one and I'm going to put that from the far side to my side and the reason that one is sticking up is because the thread is pulling it right down against the uh, bead which is good we'll put some wraps on top of it I'm just gonna move all of the, the legs and everything out of the way I'm gonna put a few wraps right on top and then I can stand up the butt ends and cut them off take my scissors be careful not to cut the good part there we go don't cut any legs off I have done that before now I'm just going to build up a little bit of the head there I don't really need any additional dubbing on there if you end up with a lot of thread right there at behind the bead you can just take a small pinch of dubbing I'm gonna go ahead and do it just put a small pinch of dubbing on there and then whip finish it the only thing is when you have the dubbing on the whip finish you don't want to slide the thread down like this because you will push the dubbing Whoop. watch those legs Yeah, we're going to tug that. Go ahead and trim that. Put some head cement right there on the back of the bead. Let that soak right down into it. And here we have a Lively Legs Rusty Pheasant Tail Prince. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. If you'd like to purchase any flies that I make, go to etsy.com slash shop slash flymanjim. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.